Hey everyone, welcome back. Weston Summers here. Hope you all had a good weekend. I'm recording this on a late Sunday night. This is going to be the disassembly of the 22 Rimfire. This is the AMT Auto Mag. And in our other videos, we've already looked at this gun. This is an excellent gun. It shoots a 22 mag. It holds 10 in the magazine and one in the chamber. And in this video, we're going to disassemble it. I would please like to ask you, just don't take your gun apart as it is. I've never had to take this one apart except just to see why, but if for some reason you do have to take it apart, this will show you how. So with that, um, the tools you'll need will be a screwdriver, you'll need a small screwdriver, and you'll need at least three different size Allen wrenches. These are 1.52 and 2.5 millimeters. I suggest a magnetic bin. With that, let's get started. First off, make sure your magazine or your gun is empty. Eject our magazine here. We're going to lay all our parts out. Here we have an empty gun. We're going to let our slide down. You'll notice this full length guide rod does not allow you to push in far enough on any of the springs to turn your barrel nut. You cannot turn it. See there? It will not turn. So, to disassemble, <coughs> disassemble this gun, we have to take this pan out right here, and there is, we'll be pushing right here, and there's no way to take it out as you wiggle the gun back and forth. The only way to take it out is to pull the slide completely back, engage the slide release. You will see the little pin pop out above the detent here. Look inside the weapon. I've got a good light here, and we're going to be pressing on this little button right here. When we have it all the way back, hold it with your hand like this, press out as it's all the way up, and it will pop right out. Slide around, and here's our barrel, or our slide retainer. Let's put that down. Next, let your slide come forward. I've got my gun cocked and on safety. The barrel will not come off. Put the safety into the fire position, and the barrel will come forward. That's what it'll look like right there. Slide everything off to the front. You have your bottom. Move to your slide. At this point, there will be enough play that you can push in, and you can rotate your barrel nut. Sorry if I get in the way of the camera. Let's rotate that out of the way, one way or the other. Looks like it goes counterclockwise here. Take off our cap. We now can take out our spring and full length guide rod. Here will come our spring. Out will come our guide rod that sits here. And the barrel will not come out to the front. Here's our barrel nut. Our barrel will not come out to the front. If I can show this, you have to move it to the back. You have to press up on it like this and then pull it out this way so it would be upside down. Here's your barrel. At this point, your slide is completely stripped. I don't recommend taking any of these pins out to take this firing spring out or to change this without a gunsmithing tools. You will never get it back together. Sorry, but you just won't. All right, let's set all that down. Next, let's move to our lower. Let's take a good view of our lower. And the first piece you'll notice that we can take out will be our ejector for our spent casing. This will fall right out. It fits just like this on the left hand side and we're going to put it in our small parts bin. Now we're going to decock our hammer and we're going to remove our grips. There are just two flathead screws on either side. They're very short screws and the grips are very very easy to take off. Once you get them that far they will just snap off. Here's what a grip looks like. I'm going to show you the inside of it so you know what to look like as you set it back on there. That's one grip. Here's the left side of the gun. Now let's move to the right side of the gun, making this as brief as possible. There's one, going for two. We now should have both grips off and all our pins are exposed. Here are what all our pins look like. We have our trigger link, our sear disengagement would be right there. We have our hammer and all the above. Here's what you're looking at. The first pin we can remove will be our magazine eject. Please look at this very carefully and see how it works. I'm going to give the camera a close-up if I can, because it will be very hard to put back together in the disassembly video, or the reassembly. Lay her down. Take your um, pin that you're going to, your appropriate size pin or your brass punch that you have, and let's give her a few knocks to get her started. Here we go. It shouldn't be that hard. Once you get it about halfway, you can use something like your barrel, and you can set this on the side of it. And here we're going to knock out our pin all the way. There comes our pin. Here's what our pin looks like. Put it in our bin. At this point, please look at the spring. You'll see the long points actuated that way, because when I pull this out, it's just going to fall straight out. Nope, actually got lucky. Here we go, sliding her out. 
here's our magazine release and there is a little tiny pain in the rear screw or spring it needs to sit like this if you can see this please watch it because it will not be available in the disassembly video or reassembly video goodness gracious it won't even stay on the side it sits just like that and then this it has to go under that lip and it will sit just like that it will press down on it okay drop her into the bin next we're going to move up here we're going to move to this spring we're going to take our finger we're going to the screwdriver we're going to put it above it and we're going to disconnect that spring where it rotates up and out like so now we're going to move up to the trigger we'll be looking for this pin right here come up to your trigger take a lot small allen screw check that spring right there all you know is the square goes forward so the back of the barrel hits it and press out this pin it's very easy out will come our pin set that in our bin in a different spot now our trigger our trigger will not come out any direction you need to push back on the trigger rotate it just a little bit and then feed it upwards if possible once you get it about that far pull down on your disconnect you're looking for the enough play in this corner to get it out take it off that thing and our trigger disconnect will come out here's what she looks like we'll lay that down now our trigger can be removed through the top of the gun here's what our trigger looks like please look at the spring the spring needs to sit just like so sorry it's taking long but you're going to need this when you put it back together and let's put our trigger in our bin okay now do not remove this sear pin because it's got a lot of pressure on it <clears throat> we need to remove our hammer moving over to this side or whichever side you want we're going to be pressing this pin we want to press in on it and press it out the other side there will be a little tension on it out will come our hammer pin set that in a different location pull out our allen wrench and it shot off a little bit all right here's what our hammer looks like we'll look into the gun and out will come our spring and if we feel like it we can come right here to the hammer you see how it's orientated this has a light bend to it if you can't tell it has a light arc that faces to the rear and you can press out this pin ever so lightly and it's a very light pin you can tell it's been magnetized by me using magnetic tools on it and those are the three parts for the hammer let's put those into our bin very tiny make sure you have a way to get them back and this is the most pain in the rear part right here this is what the sear looks like you can rotate this spring up and it will be disconnected right here so you can take it out but please look at the sear very closely this little square piece right here needs to face this side and it needs to have tension on it I, if you can see in there when you press on it it would be pressed and that would disengage the hammer you see the shiny part so it needs to have tension on it in this direction you'll need to know that because there is a T90 spring in there that will be in, impossible to get back in there unless you use a toothpick or non-magnetic tools okay so to remove this we can just about grab it hold your gun level so it doesn't go flying out out will come the pin with the spring you see how the spring is orientated on there I will set that down and there's the sear and we're going to shake it out very carefully and there is the sear and this little tiny thing is the spring so remember the square part has to face you this edge right here and the spring has to be orientated in such a way that it puts tension on it at all times it will be orientated like that right there and you'll have to get the pin in there so that when you press on it it pushes back out to make it where it will close up the sear and this shiny part is what catches the back of the hammer right here it would catch just like that and when you squeezed it it would release and it would be able to fall it would catch both of these all right so that is the complete disassembly of the AMT Automatic 2, we now have a completely stripped lower and upper or slide, except for the firing pin and the safety, which are horrible to get out. So that is as far as I would suggest going. You can now paint this gun, oil it, clean it, wipe it off, and you can see all the internals. So with that, I'm going to give you one view of all the parts. Here are all the appropriate parts you'll need if you want to count through them. You can see all the little springs and the tiny pins.
and in the reassembly video we I will probably already have the sear and the magazine eject in place because you cannot get it the first try no matter how good you are and I claim to be a pro sometimes. So thank you very much. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Sorry if the video is too long, but I hope it's in-depth enough to help everybody when they're trying to get their gun apart. So happy shooting, gun safety. I hope everybody had an excellent weekend. Thank you all so much. Have a good one.